Hello? Some stories too, like I, I. Hi. I don't know how to. Concerning. I think I just paused it and started it. No, I already paused it once. I'm not going to pause it in there. I got it. People I got it. it. There you go. So Drew. Like, Say hi. Uh, he's such a. He's like, such. He's such DOA a, going crazy. Low, slow, man. He really is. He's a bad person. Say hi. <laughs> Who is that guy? Yeah, yeah. Well, thank God he got banned. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Him and his troll. Where are you going with that? I got, I got to put up some. Uh, oh, you're gonna put up signs. This is my, this is my flyering bag. Wow. Eight. Wow. Hammer stapler. Top of the line. Nice. Uh, good for you. The hammer stapler. Sweet. There you go. Yeah. Do you want me to come try to help? No, 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 no. I'm just going to fly them up real quick. I just like to do it. They won't take it down until I leave. Oh, that's right. Because they can't come out. Thanks, you can tell. Go help them. I got to go. Yeah. Go help them. All right. Hey, gang. Hi. We're here. DOA is going to fly out the area. Jumping back. Happy Sunday and have a fun day. That's a good idea. Hi, Nadia. Hi, Liz. Thank you. Hi, Vegas Andrews. Hi, Crazy. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I thought you were going to say they were his ashes. <laughs> it's about time. Thank you. Thank you for bringing them. DOA just went to put up some signs, yeah, so okay. he's there. Snap another one with water. Okay. Good. No, I was saying you need no introduction. Neither of you guys do. They, they know you. Yeah. It's a good group. There's now 50 live streamers. Can you imagine Scientology? I mean, I can imagine. They have to be having a heart attack. 50 live streamers. Streamers, do they do it? Like, they don't, right? Like... They're not even not allowed. So they're not allowed on the internet. So, you know, it's like if they go on the internet, they'll wake up. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, they won't say they're not allowed. You know, if you yeah, ask like them. The public Scientologists go on to, to a yeah. certain degree, but they censor themselves so they don't have to be interrogated. I never did. I never did. Well, I mean. I mean, I opened up those phony accounts, so I did. <laughs> but I didn't look at anything because I was scared to death. But my auditor, who's like a counselor, told me my friend went insane because she was reading the Internet. This is in 2000, you know, so different times. But yeah. it turned out they drugged her and reverse audited her. Auditing makes you better, supposedly. Reverse auditing makes you worse. Reverse auditing? Wow. I never, that's the first I ever heard of that. I know. They've, I've never heard of it either. I was the same. I was like, reverse auditing? But then it, I realized they'd done it to me. I just didn't know that's what it was. They, what happened was I attested to clear, and then now years later, I'm on OT7, and this auditor comes in, and I had seen these people running down the hall screaming, and I was like, what's wrong with her? And they were like, they invalidated her state of clear. So I knew it was happening, right? Because people weren't having wins on seven. So then they decided, okay, we'll just decide they're not, they weren't clear. That's why. So they said that to me. This auditor comes in and she goes, okay, when did you think you went clear? And so I told her, which was the thing that Arthur Hubbard actually had told me. It wasn't, you know, he was the one who came up with it because because of having epilepsy, and the original definition is perfect memory, perfect IQ, no somatics, no pains. So I was like, okay, I'm not clear. I can't go clear till next lifetime when I get a new body. That's what I thought. But I wrote to this one lady said, write to David Mayo. So I wrote to David Mayo, who was, you know, top in the tech at the time. And he said, it sounds like you need a PTS handling, which that's what they all say all the time. If you have any illness, you're a PTS. So I wrote him back saying, F you. You're the senior CS on the planet, and that's your best shot is to tell me I need a PTS handling? All these morons in L.A., that's all they ever say. And he wrote me back a six-page handwritten letter. I still have it. And it said, you know, dear Tori, 
of course you need your medicine for epilepsy. I'm really sorry the church handled it wrong. I've heard there's a bunch of morons in LA. And uh, if you need help, come to Flag and I'll help you. And I did. I went to Flag and did up to OT3 with the. Uh, uh, what? It's a lot. It's not... But I forgot how we started it. What was the. There was. Oh, yeah. So they came in and said I wasn't clear. What in the beginning? The beginning feels great. Right. Next to somebody, you're, you're revealing something about yourself. You're, I mean, you know, talking about a problem in your life that you need to be addressed. And you have this euphoric experience and they hook you on it. But then they switch it up later down the line and it becomes a torture, right? <laughs> well, it isn't torture, but it's, it doesn't work. It, it, yeah. Like, it doesn't work. And you're surrounded by all kinds of people saying it does work. Because everyone has to say it works. You can't say it doesn't work. If you say it doesn't work, you're sent to ethics. And then, which you know, you... form of gaslighting, which is used oh, to right. indoctrinate you, right. you know, into accepting all kinds of abuse. And, yeah. You know, including, but not limited to torture. Right. right. Just, well, they didn't have torture, but but it was a mental uh, torture. Yeah. Yeah. You, but some people, you know... That's, that's where the road leads with David Miscavige. That's where what? That's where the road leads when David Miscavige is in, you know, in charge. There's definitely people that are being... According to uh, accounts, you guys, you, know, you guys correct me if I'm wrong, but aren't there accounts that he straight up beats grown men? Like yeah, not? he doesn't. I actually asked Jeff Hawkins because Jeff Hawkins is 6'2". And I sat at a party with the same lady, by the way, that they said went insane, but then she, it turned out she was drugged and reverse audited and she left. And I asked, I asked Jeff, okay, you know, how can David Miscavige beat you up? I mean, I grew up around big, tall men and I was like, he's a shrimp, you know? And he goes, yeah, you're right. He, do he doesn't actually beat you up. He kind of bitch slaps you. And then these other guys come and beat you up if you don't go along with it. But he said, remember, you're in a cult, so you can't really beat up the cult leader. It's like, wow. Wow. So that's how he does it. See, he doesn't really do it. Yeah. But, but, yeah, he is known to have uh, anger problems, be physically yeah. aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. Verbally abusive. Yeah. That's so messed up, like what Tori was just saying. Like, I was, uh, I've got some, yeah, Isn't that just, awful? I mean, to be on OT7 and see these people running down the hall screaming and crying, and you're just thinking, what's happening? Right? Well, yeah, and then once L. Ron Hubbard died, there was no, they couldn't come out with any new OT levels, so that's why they had to start putting people back down at the bottom of the bridge and then start down again. That's well, and also seven didn't work. You know, it was like people were really not winning. We're filming each other. <laughs> no, they're just interested in. They're interested in the story. Like, yeah. I don't like to stick my camera. In. People well, do they have any questions? Ask them oh. if they have any questions. Yeah. Hi. Don't, any... don't ever get in Scientology. It's worse than you think. I think they're trying to call. I'll sit for a second. That's cool. Um, what did you say? Thank you. Oh, good. Let uh, people cool sit for a second. Or, yeah, it's not my turn. Yeah, sit down. I think it's it's DOAs. He he set it down for anybody. He's going to be up cooking and stuff. And on the volume note, we have a couple of mics on the Amazon wish list. So if anyone wants to help, they're saying how it's hard to hear because that's because oh, it's the phone. I know, but. Can but you guys hear me? Tori asked if you guys had any questions. Um, so I'll try to get as close as I can. So They all want to hear what Tori says. Yeah, they, they really, they, they they really do. My guys are the same, too. Um, let me see here. Thank you. Maui girl asked. Thank you, Maura. Um, how did David get to the head of Church of Scientology? I guess David was having that's a, That's a very good question. I was at the event where they announced L. Ron Hubbard took off. And then they announced Pat and Annie Broker, per L. Ron Hubbard, Pat and Annie Broker were going to take over the church. And then the next thing you know, this little short guy comes zipping out 
And he's like, I am now the head of the Church of Scientology. And, you know, in your mind, you're like, well, what happened to Pat and Eddie Broker? I remember, hey, I remember that from, it was one of the documentaries yes. where they, I, I mean, he, I've seen this before, like, like, he's just, he was just more ruthless, I guess. Like, well, what Jesse told me, because Jesse told me, see, what actually happened, and this is a really good story, what actually happened is they were transporting a million dollars a week to Hubbard. Yes, yes. He was up north on a ranch. Oh, what was a couple called Pardon I, I me? His, the, I his Pat Manning broker. As, oh, yeah, yeah. As a libertarian, so, as a libertarian anarchist. They're transferring a million bo- dollars a week. Hubbard said, look, I, this is my church. I want the money, so bring it. So they were going to Las Vegas partying, and this was Miscavige and some other guys. Then over across state lines to where Hubbard was to give him the million bucks. And I talked to someone who was actually there, and she said it was literally cash piled up to like the ceiling it was unbelievable yeah he, yeah, he can he can spend all that money in that right. trailer right yeah so um <laughs> I don't know so what too. jesse said is basically miscavige said to pat broker either you get the hell out of here or i'm going to put you in prison for the rest of your life yeah because you because of what you've done you know with the money and you never <laughs> You know, pop, pop, pop. And so Pat took off, and Annie, they put on the RPF. And I think she died on the RPF. Oh, my gosh. All right, cool. Yeah. Uh, Gatorade. Annie, yeah, I apologize. Her, what was her last name? Who? Annie Broker. Annie Broker. Pat and Annie Broker. That's... But they were supposed to, LRH said they are supposed to take over the church. But Miscavige just weaseled in. And it was really one of those, like, don't ask, don't tell. And within hours, if not days, of that event, he came up with the finance police and the finance police were just awful. I mean, they were like Nazis. They really were. The finance police. Wow. You never heard of the finance police? I never heard them oh, yeah, refer to that. No. Yeah. Were you in Scientology? I was. No. Okay. Yeah. They're called the finance police and they were very, very much a part of Miscavige. And it was like, you know, like uh, this one guy had started this thing on how to make money. Okay. I forget the name of it. But anybody who did that guy's course was ordered immediately to fly to flag and do this special L. L. Ron Hubbard course on the same thing that the guy had trained him on. You know, and it was like, that's our tax. So you have to go and do this. Hello. Oh, yeah. So, you know, it was just like a lot of shit went down really fast. And it was just sort of like. You know, people were declared and stuff like that. And I was just sort of like, okay, just, I was teaching two-year-olds at the time. And mothers would come in and say, oh, you were not going to believe it. So-and-so was declared. I said, look, I can't spend a day with your kids and have a joyous day. If you come in every day telling me all this shit, just don't tell me. I don't, I don't want to know it. I don't care. No. You know. Like it's not funny, but like that is. Funny. It's it's like you have like, to figure out what what can you survive with. You know what I mean? And it was like I can't survive with, you know, day by day. Yeah, and it's like I I didn't know who David Miscavige was, and it was like who are these finance police? I mean, they ordered us up to Portland because some lady was suing the church, and so and she won, but they lied and said they won. But they had 10,000 people from around the world fly into Portland. 10,000 people. And I was one of them. We drove up there all night long. And, um, you know, it was called the Portland Crusade. Okay. And it was a whole crusade to make sure she didn't win. And I was a minister already in the Church of Scientology. <laughs> so the guy says, okay, everyone has to be in a minister's outfit by tomorrow. And so we're like... Uh, and he goes, we'll bring the minister's outfits. Don't worry. So he, they come up with a big van with minister's outfits, all for the men. None for, I don't know, but they were, none of them for women. None. Yeah, I think they were jackets and pants, but they had nothing for women. So we all went to Nordstrom's and bought jackets. And this is kind of a funny story. To me, I'm like. Frank Stallone was next yeah, to me, that's what I was and saying. it was like we were in the exactly courtroom, I and I had to buy, the yeah. jacket was 40 bucks, and that was a lot of money back then, and then I had to buy shoes, right, and I thought, there's no way I'm going to buy 
you know, forty dollar shoes also. So I went to a just like a thrift store and bought the right pink shoes. Right? And then I took him to a cobbler and he sprayed them black. But then it rained that day. So whenever yeah, everybody, but, it was really boring. So people would fall asleep and stuff. And Frank Sloan, I'd give him a nudge and I'd point to my shoes, to the pink shoes, because the they were sort of glowing the pink. The 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 I met him out here once. Because uh, I, 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 was he, by the way, I want to ask, why was he there? Is he a Scientologist? Yeah. Well, oh, he was, or he is. I don't know. If he, I don't know if he's still, I don't think he's still is, but he was. I met him outside a bar and he, I think his band was, he was playing there. And I, I sometimes I mix the story. Sometimes I get mixed up, but I just remember he introduced himself to me. He, he was a nice guy. I think he gave me a CD. Oh, you wrote the Rolling Stone article? That's what they're saying. I, I wrote a um, not not the one of. Are, are you L Eric? Oh, they mentioned you last night. Really? They were going to get you the help picture. I've, was it? I you you read you didn't send me you didn't send me the picture you didn't send me the picture I didn't know how I I put up my email I was looking for it I didn't see your email like on DOA's when I click on his his email pops up on the side right away I'm trying to make more work for me aren't you no 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 yours is and Natalie's has hers on there and I look for yours but yours only goes to YouTube. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't want to. We got to change that DOA immediately. Let me see. Let me, let me, let me check it real quick. It should be Tori Christman 44. Hey. See, I'm on Tori Christman now. I've written for for Rolling Stone, but I didn't write that. Not the Scientology article, but I've I've written about uh, Mother, stuff. Oh, I'm so glad to meet you because I was really happy you had that photo. Okay, so let's really? see. So it says Tori Magoo 44 right there. And this is for more information. So it says Cash App only and PayPal. But where's my email? That's what I was looking for. And then see, this is the other one YouTube.com. Oh, no, 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 no. That, we so got to get rid of that. You. We got to get rid of that. Wait, what? He had it on there before. No, wait. See, look at what I'm doing. Like, I think here. Well, I don't have the side things because oh. I don't know how to do it on the phone. Yeah. But will I? This is on you to me, too, Tori. I don't. I'm, I know. You know. I'll have to change it. My friend is coming in a couple of days and she like, can help when me. I go to, uh, let's see, watch. I go to DOA. And then let's see. I'm going to click on his video right now. And then I'll go to you right here where it says more. Oh, and then it says the vendor events okay. at gmail.com. Okay. So I'll, I'll Linktree? What's Linktree? I don't know. Hey. Okay. What is Linktree, DOA? Linktree is where you put all your links. <laughs> oh. Well, you, you click on Linktree and then it'll have your YouTube, your Cash App, your. Oh. Page. And I don't have a Linktree yeah, on mine. On yeah, I, just, I just got one. We have DOA Linktree set now. it up. But you didn't put Linktree on it. You didn't put Linktree on mine. Did I put Linktree on it? Or no. Not? Yeah, no, you have a Linktree. I she d- doesn't. I yeah, don't. Or he doesn't. You, know, you just don't have that many things besides the email and the YouTube channel. We'll yes, Cash and App and PayPal. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, but like the, your Cash App and PayPal we'll should there, be on that. I hope you can hear it. No, that's good. Yeah, yeah, it's on the it's description, but there's no link tree, right? But there's no email. No email. Oh, there's no email. The email that's on it is that wrong one. Remember, Tori Magoo forty four. That's not. I don't want people to use that. So this is the one that I took last night. Oh, well, they will start scratching it. Let me show my viewers because they've been trying to see it too. All right, it doesn't. It's still up there. Say help. It doesn't quite. Well, the girl that was here yesterday, she said. It did say help. It did say help. The full word. And okay. then the next day, somebody was scratching it off. Uh, and she mm. caught that. And then today I came by and I took a, another picture of it. And it still says the same. So it's supposed to H-E-L-P. I have a music background. So we're not really 100% sure if it says help. But that girl that was here yesterday, she goes, She said it's cool. It. She saw it. Yeah, she, she said it did. She was the one that went into the, into the, uh, uh, uh the, the, what do you call it? The, the Easter holiday event. Okay. And she's the one who came out with the little bag 
Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So she was one of the, she was the girl that went in. Okay. And then she was the one who mentioned it to everybody last night. And we all walked over there. And, and did you get it to your friends that you said you were going to it, last night? I got it to Aaron. Smith Levin. Uh, he actually promoted it today on his video. But I mean, did you get it to the or journalist that you were going to? Well, I got, no, I only had, got it to Natalie and to uh, Aaron. I don't have any other journalists, and Eric is here. And Eric is here, so yeah. make sure you get it to him. Eric, did you get his help sign? Did you see that help sign that they have on? Oh, the, the one that was in the window. Yeah. Okay, so that's what I was, so that's, did you take that photo? Yeah. Yeah, there's mine. Wow. It's, it's still up there. It's still up there. Yeah. So this is the Who's photo. talking? Um, that's, that's what um, his, nick, his nickname is. Right. Okay. So they're they're saying that um, good good SP. I mean, I mean, that's who's talking. Oh my goodness! There was a young girl here with that little beanie, and then she walked us over there. What? And she says yeah, the night rocks. before it said, oh. "Yep, we're and doing it." He did it last night. It the barbecue for the person who said, yeah. "Can you do it?" Yeah, that's what they were saying. Like, because I just like I. I just want to be honest. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I'm fine. I'm the FBI. I like, got totally. Uh, and, and you can do a lot of things in LA. <laughs> that's why, regardless of what, what, what that's why it would, it would be important for it to do the welfare check, right? Because it's not like I need link free, but inside. don't let the away set it up. Call your name wrong. I know, I know. She, my friend, is coming to me. She would. Another situation where it was Glad not happy, babe. I love it. would at least go up and she, look, right? Hey. You would think. Okay, she, good. That would like, help. That would help, Chief. I'm going to go grab my green chair. Sorry, it's there. I don't know what it's here. It's there in her description. Okay. Okay. If you're saying that my email is in the description, because that's what I thought. BOA and I put it there. But he just showed me and I can't see it. So these other people say they can't see my email. So I don't know. Oh, you, you said they're trying to see your email? We're trying to find the right email. There's oh. one that says Tori Magoo 44. That's okay. the wrong email. Okay. I never use that anymore. It's from 20 years ago. Okay. And the right one is Tori Christman 44 at gmail.com. And I thought DOA put it in the about I, board. I thought we had the right one. I think you did, but did see I if you can age? look up. Can you look up my site or not? I could. I have a, I have yes. a phone. Yeah, see if you can look it up. Nerds. It's P O R Y M A G O O forty four. Just look up that first. Yeah. Do, you, uh, do you want me to look on your YouTube or yeah, you yeah, yeah. Let me take a look. Good to carry two phones, guys. I've even That's a good idea. Yeah. From uh reporting uh it comes from well, some of it was just to separate, you know, work and personal, but also like you cover other kinds of protests, you know, people try to grab your phone. Ooh. I could, yeah, people have tried to snatch it before. So, Ooh. um, if they snatch it, I'll just pull the other one out and start filming. <laughs> there you go. I know a lot of tricks. Look right now. It smells good. All right, here's the SPTC Foundation to help you leave Scientology. There you go. So, do you see it, Tori Magoo Forty Four? I'm going to it right now. Phone's a little slow. They reduced me to two G. Uh, I don't know about Laura, whether she will or not. Will it be? I called her, left her a message, but she has an answer. Uh, about... Yeah, I streamed so much they reduced me to two G on this phone. I didn't even know what that. It was crazy. I I didn't even know like there was a limit. That's why I'm on the, the other phone. I didn't know there is. So I I guess 2G was like, I don't remember 2G. Maybe that was like. <laughs> that was before they started but, calling it. It's slow. Like, I was up Thank you, Sophie. Oh, here it is. That's um, sweet. But I, I think tonight's kind of a, an awful one as far as the barbecues. <laughs> but thank you for inviting oh, people. There isn't really a topic tonight. Hey, hey. But thank you. For, I, I, you, I don't you see know. an email at all for you. Um, let me see. That's 
Sure. Does it say for for more information on Tori? Oh, wait. That's your profile. This doesn't even have it for the more uh, information. Oh, wait. Here, see, there's the old email, but I don't want that on okay. there. I, I think we could fix that. You do? Um, I mean, I could. How do you fix it? So, let me. Um, I mean, I don't want to mess with your stream. We'd have to do it from your account. So, we'd have to, like, it might be tricky, but. Yeah, I'll do it in a couple I, of days. My friend is coming. I can help you with it. Like, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, tech support. That's what I do, too. I really? I, I could. <laughs> Well, I have to get your your number. Yeah. Then I can call. Otherwise, you. you might interrupt your stream. Um, but. Hey, Toyota. Hi, Sandra. Nice to meet you. Because in your guys' chat. Huh? I'm usually in the chat. Oh. Sorry to come. Thank you. It's nice to meet you. Were you ever in Scientology? No, no, right? Good for you. Good for you. Now, can you put down your yeah, name yeah, yeah. and phone number? No, definitely. Right. I'm not oh, a yeah. and I... squirrel stickers. Oh, thank you. Cute. I'm giving you the real number because. The real number? <laughs> yeah, whatever one I can contact you with. Absolutely. Here's my squirrel stickers. I'm a squirrel. I've heard too many people that I would give it to Tori. I would also give it to EOA because I'm custom. I would actually give it to everyone here. Thank you. Thank you for my squirrel stickers. Did you give them to me? Yeah. Thank you. Um, Where'd you get them? On Amazon. You can get sticker packs for any interest to get everything. I love stickers. I do too. I'm a sticker queen. Ooh, that smells good, DOA. That's not good. Oh, oh damn. Oh, thank you. Do, should we put them on things or? Yeah, I got the. Do they uh, stick on them? I got the. Yeah, they're good. They're, like, they're good sticker. They'll stay on, like, even when it's. I got one on the back. Oh, thank That's right you. That's right there. You can call or text so I know it's you, and then it'd be great to talk. Yeah, good. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, no, of course. That's a good number. She you can't read there. my yeah. You can't read my chicken scratch. That's yeah, I can. My grandfather was a doctor, so I got used to. It. My father's a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> my grandfather was too. A note about this way you don't. Have to oh, thank you. Like that. Oh, I was just grabbing this because she dropped oh, okay. it. I'm gonna stick this in there, a little pouch. Oh, my extra. Okay. Thing. Thank you. Thank you. Like sitting up. Right. Oh, thank See, I'm freezing already. You said you had those gloves in your pocket. I know. I should put them on. I forgot the ones. Somebody gave me these wonderful ones. I forgot to bring them. And the other thing that I... It's like... Well, hood you could be wearing. And that, it'll cover your beautiful hair. But sometimes you have to make sacrifices. I got these uh, vintage DOA signed glasses. <laughs> Where did you get them? I actually picked them off the ground when he was... Uh, Protesting at La Poubelle a couple months ago, and I held on to him. And then <laughs> yesterday, he was nice enough to sign. Oh, glasses! Cute. Hey. Very cute. Shut it down. Yeah, yeah he's the defender of ants. You know, do you, it's a cool. Do you you understand what the ants is? That's us, the little people. The little people? Yeah, the army of ants. It's supposed to be the strongest community of the people of uh, instincts in the world. No, that isn't that isn't what he's no the defender of ants. This because that's what I thought too. It was it was just ants. And he is for ants because they what what so, you, DOA. I heard him say the little people. Uh, oh yes. Scotty. What's what's the name of Squirrel Squad? The tree that <laughs> the ants help. The yeah. ants help. Yeah, because remember, I thought it was ants defender of ants, and you said no, it's defend ants and yeah, serve yeah, ants. Yeah. But then you said, but ants are important. Ants, ants, um, ants uh, germinate 
the Mayflower. There you go. The Mayflower secretes a chemical that attracts the ants, and that's how they that's how they breed. Uh, okay. Ants also eat the uh, the the aphids off of the plants. It was aphids, or uh, I saw it. The they were the little aphids were harvesting the sugar, and the ants would come and eat the would eat them, but they would also protect them too. But that isn't what Defender of Ants is from. No, Defender of Ants has multiple layers and multiple meanings. Right. But one of the big things is permaculture. Like, you want diversity in the soil, so you don't want to put chemicals and pesticides and fungicides in to kill all the little bugs and insects. Ants serve a purpose. Okay. They they serve a purpose in the ecosystem. All right. But you told me it was defend ant. Yes. And serve ant, ants. Ant had a suffix of a word that designates an agency in law. Right. Uh, respondent, claimant, uh, defendant. See? Uh, yeah. Peasant, servant. Yeah. It's it's a, like an agency and almost like a like a, a contract with a an authority. That's good to know. So, yeah. yeah. So that was how I beat some of my court case by saying I didn't want to be a defendant. Very defendant. Ah. I didn't want that title defendant. And I'm not recommending anyone to do any of that at all. Right. But I'm just saying that's what worked for me in my particular case. It got go. me off of a lot of yeah. uh, bogus charges. Yeah? Yeah. So you are the defender of ants. So now I'm the defender of ants. You I know. earn your legality in order to go to court. Well, you treat yeah, most people, person. when they get in trouble, they're not ready to go to court. Yeah. Because they... They think they're going to just jump into it, and you have to have years of kind of filthy wind. Oh, yeah, definitely. For the most part. Not everything, by the way. I grab everything I record. So yesterday, sorry, while we were out here, we noticed that all the windows are lit up. I'm well aware of. two. Which huh? two are not lit up? The reg well one. That's, not here, right? uh, That's where the regs used to sit. That was what's happening out here. We were thinking maybe there's an a camera in there facing this way and they might be videotaping us. They could be. I yeah. mean, it is interesting because this, this yeah. wasn't lit up before. Yeah. yeah. We were talking about that. You're right. Thank you for pointing that out. Yeah, he noticed we it. noticed it yesterday. So he noticed yesterday that. So they're, they're coming back alive. Yes. <laughs> little by little. They're fighting back. They figure, you know what? These guys aren't leaving. We better get to work. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> the funny thing, though, is we followed them. You, you know what the HGB is? No, I don't. Oh, okay. Wait. Is that the Hollywood Guarantee sure. Building? Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. So that's where the executives are that yeah. run the church, okay. right? And so one, one night, Drew, who's here, uh -huh. and I decided. That, and this was years ago. We decided, let's go to the HGB, watch them get in the vans, and follow where they go. Because cool. we were like, where do they go? And what do they do anymore? Because there's nothing happening in the churches, really. And so, and they're not churches. They're called. So they go all the way around Hollywood, by CC, all the way down Vermont, all the way down to here, all the way down this street. And then there's apartments. And that's where they stay. And we pull over, and they jump out, and they go, get it. Get away from here. Yeah. They, start hammering, <laughs> they start hammering on the window. And I go, pardon me? This is a public street. You don't own it. You might think you do, but you don't. They really do, though. They think they own things. You know, I did a similar thing, which you did. But I did it to those people right next to where they uh, recruit. Uh, where is that? That recruiting center where they shut it down recently? The testing center? Testing yeah. Center? You know those... those um, People that take you in the vans and they show you where all the stars are. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. I followed them on my motorcycle oh. just to see where they were going oh. and why 60 bucks was worth it. Yeah. And the guy pulled over and cussed me out. Get away from my I van. know. <laughs> I know. They're really. They're... <laughs> I was just taking the tour with you yeah. guys. Yeah, they're hardcore. They yes. are. Because they, you know, they don't want anybody to, because then you can copy them. Yeah. Yeah, they don't own the rights to no. the. It's Hollywood stars. Yeah, it's kind of fake. It's I know. Fake. Well, I don't know about that. Absolutely. I think they do. You think a lot of them still do? Yeah. I wouldn't say a lot, but they, they I think they live here and they live on ranches or oh, other places. Yeah, so they have like two homes. And they kind of go back and forth. I think what I'm going to have to do is turn this off for a little bit, you guys. Flyer. And okay. then I'll start it in a little bit because 
Oh, my email is there. Is it Tori Crispin 44 or is it Tori, Tori Magoo? Because I don't want Tori Magoo. And don't email me there. I never, I never even look at it. I have like 80 million emails from Tori Magoo because I started it in 2000. I know that you have like million views or something. Something like that. It's an awful lot. I don't make it so hard. You know, that's a DOA thing. I can't believe you've done this for 24 you years. Just triple, no way. Triple. Yeah, I know. DOA was shocked. He was like, I can't believe you did this for free for all those years. So hopefully some people will chip in. Yeah. The guy you were talking to, oh yeah, you said that's a Rolling Stone article. Okay, we got that. I don't know if Laurel will come tonight. I don't. Who will inherit Scientology? Who cares? <laughs> I hate to do that, but I don't care. You know what I mean? They ask me who who's going to inherit Scientology. Oh, you know, it's like get rid of them and get it no, over with. I have trouble pinning down what's the most important, like what's important, what's the most important message. What's the most important message for what? For making a banner. What would uh, the top three, like something that someone driving by will read and, and see completely? Well, the people, there's well, one pictures of your signs and there were. Okay. Yeah, but like I want something so it, like La Poubelle, that, oh, that, that big right banner. Side. Yeah. You don't have to yell. You don't have to do anything. Yeah. All people do is see that message mm -hmm. when they drive by and there's no question of why you're here. Okay, well, one is Scientology kills. Scientology kills. Right, and underneath it, always have www.zenu.net because they have the most, he has the most references to everything. So people can go there and learn all kinds of shit about Scientology that they won't tell you. So that's one. The other one is um, Scientology is worse than you think. But these aren't really for La Poubelle. They're for like... A, yeah, no, for here. I want some for here. Well, Scientology's worse than you think. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. Don't you think? Yeah. And then the third one you have to come up with. <laughs> yes. What do you think is the third one? I'm not sure. Uh, well, well the auditing. I think the auditing... I think the auditing is one of the biggest things. No, I don't think so. Because people don't know what it is. You don't want to leave anything where it's a confusion. Yeah, but that's where that's where the repeated abuse and grooming actually occurs. Well, and courses. And courses. And courses. Because you start with the communication course, and that starts right there where they put in real basics. The other one you could do is Church of Scientology equals watch the Truman Show and see. Because <laughs> that's the truth. I literally watched it last night. I was telling her, I was like, I only watched it for 10 minutes. Like, <laughs> Isn't it it? Yeah. Well, I know. It's Truman Show and it's The Handsmaid's Tale. Right. It's the handmade tale. So you could do both. Say so Scientology is a combo of the Truman Show and the handmade tale. Can, can I ask you to get me something? Did you see the little cupcakes that I brought? Oh, the ones up here on top? I don't know where they are. Are yeah. they inside? Uh, yeah, those. Oh. Can I? Can you bring me one of the chocolate ones? You're welcome. See this actress here? The one in the black hair? Right. She was at La Poubelle the other day, and Mindy uh, Williams was interviewing her. She's and, now 59, huh? but that was her back in the day in the movie called Weird Science. Oh. Let me see. Careful. That's the girl that Mindy was interviewing. Oh, yeah. That was my sweetheart crush when I was a youngster. Really? Oh, yeah. I was oh, like how cute. 16 years old when this movie Sweet. came out. And I was, that was a crush of mine. I go, Mindy, I wish I would have been there to get her autograph. I know why. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and help yourself if you guys want one. I believe in dessert before dinner. There you go. <laughs> You're a dessert girl. I know.
I mean, and there's like I said, there's yeah. water and different colors Gatorade. Oh, thank they're, they're you. miniature bottles. They're not okay. big bottles. Okay. So these guys want to know about the finance police. So okay, the finance police were literally. Scientologists who were pretending they were police and and they were called the finance police and they basically took money from people and they were really creepy and if you didn't go along with it they declared you I told the guy to fuck off he told me I had to give him so much money <laughs> but a lot of people didn't fall for it and gave him money oh yeah no I did yeah, they they get real bold people are around you should tell DOA Hi, he Joy. would look fabulous in purple. Hi, how are you doing? Yeah, I like your glasses. Very handsome. Thank you. Very handsome. <laughs> DOA, they said you you should look, you'd look good in purple also. Purple? Yeah. Okay. Any color. Any color. I'm giving them a the Tory uh, uh, point of view here. That's okay. Okay, with the back of my hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, yeah. and um, point of view. It's like a video game. <laughs> And these guys say they like um, Scientology. It's worse than you think. As a Scientology banner. is worse than you think. Yeah, I like. I think that's a good one. Yeah, it is because okay. it, it gets you thinking and wondering, right? <laughs> okay, so Lisa from Weird Science. I love her. Okay, there's a YouTube channel called Scientology Triggers. It's wonderful short videos on what to say to Scientology. Good to know. Listen to this. They said there's a YouTube site called Scientology Triggers, and they have really great things to say, like short things to say to Scientology. They said it's short videos on what to say to a Scientologist. Yo, they don't think about should they put it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they can't, yeah, they can't. You know, they're like, yeah. I know. I like the communication course. Don't get me wrong. It's just some of their bad stuff starts there also. Oh, oh there, there's, a, there's a dude walking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I oh. know. Oh, oh, nice. The Sea Org member was checking to see if the sign was still there. Uh oh. He down pretty yeah. good, yeah. So. No, but he was looking to see. It. Okay, guys, I have to set this down for a minute. Oh, there's a story behind that, for sure. Oh, it's called science. Questions to ask the Scientologist. Oh, is that it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Wow, there's like 274. Really? Possible the reaction when people just mock up. Wow. 272. Oh, okay. You can never disagree. I'll have one. If Alrage said it, it's true, right? No. So that's what their question is. is if there... R.H. said it, he stole it. He... I wish Alistair Crawley could crawl, oh, yeah, turn yeah, around yeah. in his grave and say, oh, it was me that it's said that. Because <laughs> he stole a lot from him. He stole a lot from a lot of places. Oh, yeah. My friend spent 10 years researching all the tech. And every piece of tech goes back to something, something else. else. Yes. You're saying it's 727. Do you have six, six, five, seven, nine, seven? GOA, do you have napkins? Yeah, it's seven to seven. He does? Yeah. Where? Scotty, do no. we still have napkins left over? Yes. 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 I, I put them in a big plastic bag. Yes. Uh, yeah, oh. Oh. Look at you with your. your... Chipotle. Oh, thank you. Yeah, there you go. Chair. Look at you with your anonymous mask, Scotty. Where'd you get those? Order them online. Really? <laughs> right, Tori? What? Right? Yeah, what you know, what is it? Going <laughs> on right now. You got a testing now, right? Well, what, what are you saying? The area code for the number was wrong. What was the number? Yeah, the check. It's 427. For what? For the SP Foundation, HPPD Foundation. It's four two seven. Yeah, I don't know that. Seven two seven. Seven two seven. Seven two seven. What is it? What is the area code about? Huh? 
That's the area code for the number. Oh, it's 727? Yeah, 727. Yeah, like and it's at 747. Oh. Yeah. So you got a big sign. I didn't even know they had a number. Yeah, yeah. 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 I wasn't That's a whole number, but then I said it twice. It's, well, it's for the SPTV yeah. Foundation. It, it, it got better. That's the and the flyers are right, though. And who answers it? I have no clue. Yeah, let's call it right now and find out. See who call it right now. Yeah, call it. That's what I did. But that's what all the viewers are gonna do. <laughs> when I was, you know, when the Berlin Wall went down, or no, it was when nine eleven happened. Yeah, they put underneath because Bush was the president, uh -huh. and right underneath it, they said for medical help call this phone number and i was on the internet out at the time uh -huh. and i said that's the dianetic hotline oh, you know, and they're a hundred percent against mental health right yeah so we all called the the tv show and said look this is scientology <laughs> this is dianetics they they hate mental health what is so that? they immediately took it off of yeah. tv so it was gone yeah. and then i called the number and the girl goes dianetics modern science of mental health and I said, are you honestly pitching that you are for mental health? Are you kidding me? And she goes, well, it says Dianetics, water and science of mental health. They're just like, oh. That's a robotic voice. Too. Oh, no. so, it was unbelievable. Yeah. No, I remember that. That was on the TV. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. For mental health? That was the Dianetic hotline. I remember the commercial, too, because that's one of the oh, no. stream. Yeah, with the big I volcano. Kid, I remember that so vividly as a kid. And asking my father, <laughs> and then we went to the, the bookstore when they, it's so hard to even find a bookstore now. Went to the bookstore and I saw it and I tried to read it. And I read a lot. Like I was, I didn't understand it. I asked my father, I don't remember what he said. I was like, what is this, what is this about? But the volcano, when you're like a, a kid, yeah. the exploding volcano, you're like, wow. Yeah. That's what I said too. When yeah. I used to see that. Dianetics. Yeah. Read it now. <laughs> and I found out later on Jeffrey Hawkins did all that. No, Read Jeffrey it. Hawkins and me. Oh, you were part of yeah, that? Yeah, I was 100% of oh part of it. That, he doesn't mention that, but we were the hard, we were the working people that got it done. We called all, all the head. radio stations. And we're children. That was in our heads because yeah. Dianetics. Yeah, he ran it. But I mean, we were the ones that actually made all the phone calls and set up all the interviews and wow. stuff. I got paid a thousand bucks a week, every week. Really? Doing that. Oh my God. I mean, it was so weird. I'm working next to Sea Org members who are making $35 a week. And I said, I don't get it. And they said, well, L. Ron Hubbard wrote this thing. If you have to hire a professional, you have to pay professional rates. Oh my goodness, that's great! You guys were so lucky. So a thousand bucks a week. Genius. I know it's pretty good. Yeah. And and I was. It's funny because you know I have the memory thing where I can't remember okay. things, and so especially with names and numbers. Uh -huh. So I called this. What they said? Look, we really want to get this guy. He's like got millions of viewers. We really need this. Oh. I said okay. So I call the guy up, and he goes, "No, I'm not interested." He hangs up. Right. So now I'm going down a list of names and I call the same guy again. Uh -huh. And he says, are you kidding me? You just called me like an hour ago. I told you no. And he hangs up. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so now I'm going down the list again. I don't recognize his name and I call him again. Now it's the third time in one day. And he goes, I can't believe you. This is the third time you've called me today. And I said, well, you know, maybe it's karma. You need to do this interview. And he goes, all right, if I can get rid of you calling me, I'll do the interview. Oh, my. And they were thrilled. It was like, Tori got it. The you tech know. works. But it's just <laughs> so funny that it was nothing to do with All the tech. Let's just ask a question. Three well, times. and it was my memory problem. <laughs> but it worked in your favor. Yeah. And that person, was that Jeffrey Hawkins? Oh, I could imagine if it was. Oh, so funny. No, this it's was a radio station. It's a radio station just to get an interview. Yeah, to oh, get an wow. interview. And they were they were wanting that interview station because they had so many millions of listeners. Yeah. And so they it was, you know, they got me books and balloons oh, wow. and an extra bonus and all. Oh, See who answers this call. It's in Florida. Did they? Let's see. Oh, okay, so you're calling. Okay, wait, I gotta change it. Hello. Please state your name after the tone. Google Voice will try to connect you. Hi, it's Tori Magoo. Oh, they're connecting. Let's see. 
Did you hang up? Yeah, Why? I want to talk to him. Oh, you did. Oh, that would be so cool. This is SPTV, right? It, so that's, this is no, no, I don't really, because what am I going to say? Well, I'll talk to him and ask him what, what, what do they do? Please state your name after the phone. Evil voice will try to connect you. It's Tori Magoo. Mason. Oh. Let me call this other person. Oh, it went out. Look, it was black. Yeah. Nobody's <laughs> answering. I know. Uh, what time is it in Florida? Oh, that's Florida, right. Yeah, that might be the foundation. Please leave your name, number, and message after the tone. Hey, we were just trying to call. Um, we're having a barbecue out here in LA, and we were just calling to check and see how you're doing. Uh, this is Tori Chrisman. And I'm with a bunch of friends, and we're here, and we were going to call and see how you're doing. But anyway, have a good weekend. You got prank calling? Prank call SPTV. Did nobody answer We the called phone? SPTV, and it was just a recording. Okay. <laughs> but it's Sunday, so World Sunday night. What are you laughing at? I'm just thinking, like, the old days of picketing. You know, like, it was like, you know, like, you know, just don't sit down on the little bench. Right. Like, well, man's queuing up in a bird. I know, I know. I know. We're barbecuing here. It's so great. I know. It's so great. You, you guys paid the way for this. You, you, you should have seen us. Now, this is picketing, man. Okay. I mean, this is incredible. I told you this it wasn't a picket. Like, yeah. That's, like, well, that's the beauty of it. I know. It's incredible, though. Compared to the old days, we could barely be anywhere and they'd be remember the old days they'd be here right now the security guards saying get out of here it'd be like right oh it'd be out, out of control why were they more verbal back then than they are today they, they'd have tim because of people like me who left they, they, right you know i just they used to send me out to handle the critics you know who was great at handling critics and she was the best mary demoss Oh God! Oh, awful! Oh, awful! Gosh, she the worst. Oh. She's the one oh. I was looking forward to to see against oh. Mark Bunker. Oh. Mark handled her so well. Uh, I know Mark was amazing. Same you as Andreas. Was, you know what? My favorite video of Mark and her was where they go around in circles. Yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> that was so That's everybody who knows it. She caught on to that later on. Yeah. But you know, I did read something about her saying that she apologized. To Mark and really the harassment features. Whoa, 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 wait. That's okay. You got, you got Does he know you're here? Oh. What's he doing? Go for it. Go for it. He's here. Oh my God. Wow. He's going to go around the circle. Why? Oh, because the parking guy's yeah. here? Oh, is he going to give him a ticket? He told him to move. Yeah, he's fine. As long as you're not in the red, you're fine. He had a light on. He was in the red. He was in the red. <laughs> Maybe we could ask him for a special permit. Park in the room. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Hey, can I give you a hundred bucks just like uh, disappear for people? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the cops were here yesterday and they were so polite about the parking. They just said, can you guys just go ahead and move your cars? You won't say anything. No, I agree with you on the communication course. Yeah. I attest to that. Tell them there's a spot the of downside is you begin to chase the dragon. That's because, right. That's absolutely yeah, that's right. And it's okay. There she goes. Wow. So she's moving hers too? Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, this is our, our people. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah but... Where did DOA go, though? Oh, yeah, they're twin cars. What are they doing? Oh, right there. See, uh... We should let DOA be there, though, don't you think? That's the chipmunk car, right? The, 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 the chipmunk car? Yeah. Where they do the advertisement? Yeah. yeah. So you were out here it's doing... Uh, I'm on my way. Oh, back in the day. Back in the day. Wow. So you were part of the Hell Thank you, Sir, Hell Serenity, Hell for saying that. I like that, too. It just takes... Cemetery. Yeah. I don't know. They barely... Oh, buried, you know, they don't even have a... 
They don't even announce when people die. No, when I first pick it they up, don't have anything. And then I was, or you hilarious. Okay, yeah, which part is hilarious? Yeah, I'd like to I'm know. Okay. All right. Uh, a lot a of freaky my man. How, how do we take yeah. them uh, down yeah, next? But little you a way of turning. I, I, was, I was a whole Okay, Chris, they don't have funerals. No, they don't have funerals at all. Unless you're an opinion leader, and then they do. They didn't have access to the gimbal. An opinion leader is somebody with a lot of money and a lot of connections. So I used to... Uh, Use, uh, Who's there so with you guys? Right? DOA, Chris, yeah, Eric, yeah, Drew is perfect. my friend. Um, and there's so anything a above couple of ladies here. By, by 640 was a waste. Oh, okay. um, I, so no. uh, I used to upload like, my videos at 380. Uh, I think that's still low. Yeah, so but it comes to now. But honestly, when he's but he never was thought about that. Yeah, the Scientology was funny. hold it, funerals and what do they do? They don't. Like they, I don't know what they do with the bodies. I think they cremate them, most of them. Maybe the some people have them yeah, buried, yeah. but then they don't have their own funeral. Yeah, I mean, that's how I got um, them. Yeah, like, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. They don't have their own place for the jury. And funerals, they basically say goodbye to the person. Yeah, so they they, they so figure they'll just come back next yeah, lockdown. Yeah, yeah. Go back to the uh, digital. Page. They like Scientology. Worst thing. Yeah. These kids. Okay, okay what's going on here? Like on the chats and the watches and. They didn't buy a separate camera. These are phones, which is insane to me. Yeah. You don't. You're not buying extra equipment. Correct. Like, their idea of extra equipment is like, oh, like, like yeah. a phone on something. Holder for their phone or. Right. Right. Yeah. I see one of these kids, they have a watch. I guess it's a blue. Can you speaker. move that way? Because oh, this is all, I'm okay. trying to talk to them, and you you guys are both talking to each other. Oh, no, you just, me. just look it. Maybe we're going to have a SWAT right here. Okay. Are you uh -huh. We're going to put out the smoke. That's a SWAT. It is? They're slowing down. No, come on. What's it? Hi. Is he, are they moving on? Oh, right here. Jesus. Let me get a DOA. Scared. Look at my hold this. Before they Dude, hold this. With water. <laughs> Drew, can you help me? Yes. Hold these things. And this. Oh. Okay. Here's this. We got it. We got it. Don't, don't, don't fool okay. it. Oh, open, open fire like that. Wait. All right. What what is he saying? No, we're we're having a barbecue. What are you talking about? You can have a barbecue in LA? Yeah, on the open sidewalk. You can have it on your property, but this isn't your property. You're saying that people can't have barbecues anywhere. I don't have an open flame in the city of Los Angeles public phone. Okay. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, LAPD oh. didn't tell us anything yesterday. You're positive? Yeah, why did LAPD say nothing? Yeah, they were here yesterday. They never yeah, why was LAPD here and said nothing? What's the fine? What? What's the fine? Is it fine? Is it fine? Is it fine? Is it fine? I don't know. Is there a fine? What is it? I see there was a fine. I'm asking you, sir. I, I don't, I don't find it. There's no fine? We don't find people. You arrest people? No. So you're just asking me what 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 law is that? Tell me the law. Let me can you tell me the law, sir, please? Or we're not gonna stop. We're not gonna stop. Tell us what's the law. What the fuck is fuck. the problem? All right, we'll continue grilling. That's the way he talked it. No. Your tax dollars. Hi, how are you? Good. Good to see you. Yeah. That was if, if having a barbecue is an act of of uh, uh, protest, then I'm fucking in, man. Fail me out. You see how that correlated with the parking people too? Yeah, we know we are here. I know my hair is crazy today. I sent you five dollars the other day. <laughs> That's so She's the beautiful. only person I've ever been able to you send a, a so what is it called? What is it? So a super chat. A super chat. Super chat. I'm waiting you. for you to get a monetization. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I've never done it. I was like, what is it? Don't make it. 
Like, why didn't they put the yeah. fire out? It's such a like. Oh, what, what what kind of so what is what does this guy expect that we're just packing up and leaving? Where's DOA going? Where's he going? Oh great! Where's he going? Oh yeah. No, maybe to his van. Where did he park? That was fun. Thank you. I'd like to help him. No, but he left pretty fast. Not a streamer. The bird is like Ken. That was weird. I um, yeah, I've not heard of that uh, regulation. Well, uh, I mean, I, I, I haven't heard of that one, guys. They're full of shit. Scientology doesn't barbecue, do they? There's no like, they don't do like fun things, right? If they did, they'd have it in their parking area. Okay. Yeah, they have like events and stuff okay. the public and, uh, but we did see a guy we were here one time when a guy was out on the street making pancakes on the sidewalk thank you and you yeah really? and we stopped to, it was a friday night and we stopped to just find out why are you making pancakes right yeah what was he he was a kid oh he's just a kid friday night okay that's their one night off and we go, why are you making pancakes? And the security guy comes up and goes, don't talk to her. She's declared suppressive. And I said, okay, bingo. We're staying. And we stayed for two hours. And they couldn't leave. They were all running up and down an AO here. And I told the kid, I said, don't eat them. Don't let them. It's not open. Yeah, close. Let them tell you. Don't let them stop your free speech. Yeah. Well, we better have hot dogs before. I'm going to have to. Say to my Thank friend, you for helping there. You can see, I was struggling. That was gross. But, huh? but expected. We got swatted. So now, and DOA, I don't know where he went. He's, he's reparking it? I think he would have. Hell yeah. We're protesting again. <laughs> I think he was ah. Yeah. How are you? <laughs> well, that kid looked like he wanted to get out of there. That's what? why he was talking to you. Maybe he was going to communicate with someone. Like, so I have a message for you. Let's see. Maybe it's not working. Let's see. It says, can you go tell, can you go to Tori's phone? She has a troll in her chat. If, uh, if it's Jessica and she's very crude, can you block her for Tori? <laughs> They're like, oh, we're. She's my friend. It's just oh, she, I literally watched her homeless burning shit on the Jessica. ground and then little fire. Yeah, it's all it's a big Jessica. Oh, they, I think they already deleted it. They already, okay, they already yeah. deleted it. They, just, they got him a thank you guys. Whoever, thank you guys and thank <laughs> you for helping me. I had, that's really gross that someone would take her name and do that. That's gross. Thank you for letting us know. Yes, thank I really you. appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And whoever deleted it, thank you. Yes. I know I need mods, and I have mods. Jessica's mother is my mod, but I didn't call her because I didn't think we'd be here long. Yeah. So I think I I probably sign off because I don't, I don't have any mods here, and I don't want him to just. Anyway, you guys have a good night. Thank you. I am going to end off pretty soon. You came on because I I'm going to also run out of juice. You need my you need my charger. Um, I have one. I don't think so. Layla, let's see. Yeah, I can put it. I could put it just so you have a safe way. Ladies, okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get off. You wanna get up? Okay. Yeah, because I don't know. There are some creepy people, oh. and 